Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. In front of us we have a plain box, but as you can see it's not just an ordinary one as it has some Kingston stickers on it. Reading the stickers you can guess by those signs that we are looking at the DDR4 RAM kit and you would be right as we are opening up a brand new 16GB kit of HyperX Predator 3000MHz DDR4 RAM. In the box, except the RAM of course, you'll also get some user manuals and a HyperX sticker. In comparison to the DDR3 generation of HyperX Predator RAM, DDR4 model took a lot of designer cues from it. Actually all of it, except the color. Honestly, we like these black ones much better than the blue DDR3 version ones. The heatsink is still cool looking and pretty tall, with some nice details in the form of fins coming out on the top. Big glossy X is widespread from one end to another, holding in it a HyperX logo, Predator naming and DDR4 sign. To top it off, black PCB goes along great with the heatsink and the rest of the design. Going to the other side you'll find the usual declaration sticker and that's pretty much it. Except this by speed topped out 3000MHz 4x4 16GB kit model, you can also get a 32 or 64GB kit in 4x8 or 8x8 kit configurations ranging from 2133 to 2800MHz. The biggest 64GB kit can only be purchased in 2800MHz speed. As you can see, due to its height, Predator is not compatible with dual tower CPU coolers like ours Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3, as it will get in the way of the fan, so keep that in mind when purchasing it or CPU cooler. Other than that, this setup looked really nice. Black cooler, black motherboard and black RAM. Checking out the performance, we ran into what's for now a pretty common problem with motherboards and RAM compatibility, especially with the 3000MHz speed models. We couldn't get the XMP profile working for that speed, we tried everything from automatic setup through XMP, manual setup, overclocking, tinkering with voltages, strap ratios, changing timings and latencies, everything that could be related to memory stability issues, but we got nothing, even with the 2800MHz it wouldn't boot. Probably the only thing left to do is to wait a new BIOS, as our Gigabyte X99 UD4 just didn't comply with that speed. In the end we tested the RAM out on the second XMP profile, the 2666MHz one. As you can see the read-write copy results are pretty impressive nevertheless, especially in comparison to the DDR3 RAM. Of course, it's really hard and borderline impossible to tell difference in everyday use between 3000 and 2133MHz RAM, so it's always better to redirect the difference in price between them into a bigger RAM kit, plus you can always easily overclock it from the stock 2133MHz to higher speeds, as usually those memory chips on the RAM are pretty similar on the whole series. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and preview of the Kingston HyperX Predator DDR4 RAM. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.